Hi guys, Emily here, aka Phoenix Opinion. I'm back with another vinyl unboxing for you today, and this time it is Streets of Rage 4. I do love the Streets of Rage series. I've been a big fan since a child. Grew up playing Streets of Rage on the Mega Drive with my brothers and sister. Streets of Rage 4, played it last year. I did platinum it with one of my brothers, actually. I really enjoyed playing that. It felt very true to the original series of Streets of Rage. So if you haven't played it, I would really highly recommend playing Streets of Rage 4. It's great. Yeah, getting down to this vinyl. It's actually gifted to me by my brother. Very much appreciated, thank you. You can still get your hands on this. It ranges from about 60 to 70 pounds here in the UK. It's the Streets of Rage 4 definitive soundtrack. There are three composers that worked on this. It does include the original legendary composer Yuzo Koshiro, Oliver de Riviere, and Motohiro Kawashima. Here on the front is some amazing artwork. So we've got all the bad guy characters just behind here, Shiva here in the middle. So we've got Blaze, Adam, and also Axel, the original characters, but there are two new characters in Streets of Rage 4, Floyd Araya and also Cherry Hunter. I always play as Blaze because she's my favorite. My brother always plays as Axel. The artwork is actually co-illustrated for this game by Hitoshi Ariga and also Ayano Koshiro who is actually the brother of Yuzu Koshiro the composer that worked on the music for Streets of Rage. They've been in it since the beginning so they've worked on all the past titles and I think that's cool that that lineage has carried on throughout all of the Streets of Rage series. Here on the back we've got Streets of Rage 4 and Bare Knuckle 4. So I think Bare Knuckle is the name in Japan. So this is a three disc vinyl. This soundtrack is exclusive to vinyl but also here on the back is all of the tracks. For each song it does actually give you the artist that composed the song as well but yeah I'll go through those in a second. Just down here it is produced by Dotmu and Lizard Cube and also by Mutant Ninja Records and Brave Wave. So Brave Wave are a Japanese music label that is dedicated to exploring the interplay between video games, music and nostalgia. I have so much nostalgia for the music of video games. I'm pretty sure everyone that plays games does too. That's why I'm so into vinyls, particularly video game vinyls. I just love that nostalgic feeling when I'm listening to music. So getting to the songs on each side of the vinyls. On side A we've got the main theme of Streets of Rage 4, the character select, their back, the streets, chill or don't and overflow. And then on side B we've got Call the Cops, Funky HQ, The Commissioner, The Stormboat, and Nora. Then on side C, we've got Ghost Fair, Estelle, Round One, The Undergrounds, On Fire, Barbon, Chow Time, and Dojo. And then on side D, we've got Shiva, Apex Train, Estelle, Round Two, An Exhibition, Double Divas, and Rising Up. And then on side E, we've got Maximum, 25 Years Ago, DJ Kawashi, Akira, Lift the Ground, and Miss Y. And then on side F is T and Fu, Mr. Y, Next of Kin Showdown, Staff Roll, It's Extra, and the last song, It's Extra Full Mix. And let's get into this vinyl and see what the discs look like. So lifting off the top of the box. There is also some liner notes as well. On the front here, beautiful artwork of all the characters again. And inside we've got some artwork there of Axel. Give you all the track lists there of what I've just gone through for you on the back of the box. So there are also liner notes inside this booklet that are from every composer. Oliver de Riviere, Yuzo Koshiro, and also Motohiro Kawashima. Artwork here of Axel and Blaze. Also, the dev team that contributed have also said their piece inside the liner notes here. Here we've got some artwork of the boss Shiva and also here is Floyd, the other playable character. Here we have Cherry and Adam alongside the artists towards the artwork for this vinyl in the game. These are the two last boss characters. If you haven't played it, I won't spoil who they are. The artwork that's on the front of the box and also just the credits for the vinyl and the game. Inside here are the discs. So they're presented like this inside the box. So I'll get them out one by one. So yeah, here is the first disc and the artwork on here is of Axel. Oh, so they're presented in lovely black liner. So they're black vinyls. On the front here we have Axel. This vinyl actually came from Limited Run. They did actually do copies of the actual game. And this was part of the special edition collectors if you got it. Lovely of my brother to give this to me. And then on side B we've got Floyd, the other playable character here. And so side C and D has got cherry artwork on the front case. And then we've got Cherry artwork here on side C. And then the amazing Blaze artwork here on side D. Last disc, we have some Adam artwork here on the front. Love Adam, he's such a cool character. So this is side E and F. 
side E, we have the lovely Adam. Side D, we have Miss Y and Mr. Y. I love the presentation of this, absolutely great. I can't wait to listen to it and show you some of the songs off of this soundtrack, which I'll do right now.
really hope you enjoyed this video. Please do give a like and also subscribe and please do leave a comment to let me know what your thoughts are on this vinyl. I'll see you very soon for another video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Thanks guys, bye!